In this video, we are going to explore 3 video editing tricks that can really elevate the way that your shot looks and make it more cinematic. So these techniques are some of my favorites to do because they can really save up a lot of time and a lot of production value that you need on set for other things. Now let's open Wondershare Filmora and study with number one is Volumetric Light. So this effect working great if your video has a little camera movement. Duplicate your clip by long press Alt option on your keyboard and drag this above your clip. Go to color, bring the saturation all the way down so it turned black and white. Let's go ahead to curve and we are gonna make the light search really white and the other side really dark. So drag the black point on the bottom to the right so that the shadow here turn really really dark. And bring the white point to the left so the highlights really bright. Yeah, pretty much like that. Then right click and create compound clip. Now we are going to effects Select Blur, choose Dispersion Blur, and apply it to Compound Clip. Click on the icon. Now bring the blur intensity and radius all the way up, and bring clarity the radius and type all the way down. We just created light rise effect, but it's not done yet, so let's go ahead by change the blending mode to a screen. And go back to effect and you can set the center X and Y to direct where the lights come. But as you can see, there is banding posterized which kind of unrealistic. So let's apply basic blur effect and I'm gonna set it to about 20. Then I'm gonna bring down the opacity to about 75. Now the last thing that you can do is adjust this light and color. I bring the temperature up, it's a bit warmer here as the sunlight effect. And I do some minor adjustment on light and curve as well. Now, the second trick is atmospheric effect. You can bring even more attention to your subject because you can add some atmospheric elements, some different color contrast in the background in relation to your subject. To do that, just bring gray background above your clip. Scale up just a little bit. And go to mask, then select spherical. Drag this out and place this on horizon. Bring up the blue string to smooth the edges. And I'm gonna do a little adjustment to match the element with background. So I'm gonna make it a little warmer and reduce the lightness as well. Then we are going to make the subject in front of element. So duplicate your clip by long press Alt option and drag this above element layer. Go to AI Tools and select AI Portrait to make selection on the human automatically. Now set these sliders to match the subject perfectly. The last trick is set extension. Compositing stock footage or image into your scene to get higher production value. And right now, you are seeing on screen, there is some image and video element that match into one scene. Now, this can be applied in different ways. So, of course, we use draw mask tool and select the part you want to insert to background. Just make sure both clip has the same environment to match better. But bring up the blue string and set the color adjustment to match even better. And you can repeat the same way to add another element.
It's pretty fun to do, but sometimes need extra time to find stock media. Anyway, in Filmora, we have image generator which you can use for stock element. Hopefully, with some of these ideas that you saw in this video, you can level up the way your shot looks when you are in post-production. Just hit the link below to download Wondershare Filmora. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.